the one thing that I'm saying with my clients, and these are the people that I consult with and help and give advice to, is, is getting them away from being one dimensional. What I mean by one dimensional is that I've got clients who run just Google AdWords. That's all they do to generate leads. Uh, and they try to get people to call them. I've got clients who uh, only work online. So they get all their leads off the on an online process. Some of them who are trying to get people to come directly to the shopping cart. And in my book, Fanatical Prospecting, we talk about a balanced prospecting methodology. And what I mean by balance is that you, you, you're using every tool available to you in the right measure. So for example, you may be doing uh, inbound marketing through content marketing, through social media, uh, and you want to pair that with a telephone call, with a email outreach, with text messaging where it makes sense. Uh, and it, it, from, you know, in a small, from a small business standpoint, networking in your local community and being out with people and using all the tools that you have available, available to you to bring people in and convert them into sales. Excellent. And there was one specific word I think that you um, were mentioning and that was uh, very important to you and that was cadence. Yes. Yeah, so the, the key with cadence is that you take this balance, right? So you take all these different prospecting methodologies and then you build them into a regular cadence. So it begins with you know, building your lead list. And a lot of your lead list is either you're going to build it by going out to tools like Discover Org or Zoom Info, uh, or you're going to be building it your own, your own, but through your capture pages, through your, you know, through social media, through anything that you're doing to bring the leads in. Once you get the leads in, um, the first move that we typically do is we're going to either call them or send an email, depending on the lead. So we have particular capture pages, for example, like we have a sales interview guide. And on the sales interview guide, it's a pretty intense piece of work. It's something that we could charge a lot of money for. We give it away, but we ask for some additional information. It reduces the number of leads we get. So we get fewer leads, but we get better leads because there's a phone number attached to it. So when we get those in, the very first thing we, we do is we call them. In fact, we call them immediately after they download it because we know at that point they're by their computer and probably by their phone we call leave a voicemail. Then we load them into a tool that we use called Tellwise. There's um, Outreach IO, uh, there's Yesware. There's a whole bunch of, of products out there that you can use. We load them into an email client and we set them up so that an email will go back out the next morning. So we, we call, we either talk to them on the telephone, we talk to them on the telephone, we get a no, then we add them into another an email um, campaign. But if we leave a voicemail, which is most of the time, we pop them into another email campaign and then that goes out the next morning we make that phone call. Um, we add to that, uh, you know, when we go to trade shows, when we do networking events, when I'm on an airplane and someone hands me a business card, we, have, we, have, we apply the same type of process to those particular leads. And we have different processes for different leads. Uh, we, we also do social media campaigns. So we've got particular leads where we will, um, in fact, do a voicemail block where we'll do nothing but leave voicemails. We'll do it at night. Um, then we'll, we'll send an email in the morning and we'll look at our opens and we'll, and I've got one more little piece of that that we'll I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, then we'll go out on social media and social media for us, because we're typically business to business, we'll be going to LinkedIn, um, going to their to the pages of the people that we're trying to get in touch with. We've got a lot of connections out there. Either someone on my team probably has a connection. If we don't, then we'll use an email and we'll ping them there. And then we may go to, to say Twitter or Facebook and like something that they did. Then we'll start the process again. 